Hello everyone, this is Bibi to Beat from Abanana Slims and today I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet. So this bracelet is my own original design and I'm calling it the donut chain because my friend suggested that I should say um, I should call this bracelet something chain and since these circular things look a bit like donuts, I'm going to name it donut chain. So gather your supplies, you'll need at least one loom, but if you're doing this bracelet on one loom, you'll need an extension like this one. So if you have two looms, you can go ahead to do it on two looms so that you don't have to do an extension. So this bracelet requires very little bands. You will only need 13 of your border bands, which is, uh, I call, I'm calling it border bands, so it's just this single chain. And you'll need some bands for the extension if you're doing it on one loom. Um, but you'll also only need very little of your extension bands. I only need 7. And then you'll need 22 bands each for each colour. So like 22 and 22. But if you want to do different colours for every um, donut, you can do so as well. But total, you will require 44 bands for your donuts. So because this bracelet will look messy when you first pull it out, um, but of course you can fix it later on, um, I tried using jelly bands and see if it worked better. And honestly, there's not much of a difference. So you can use opaque bands for this bracelet as well. And actually, I find that this bracelet looks better with opaque bands than this one. So um, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet. But if you like, you can make this one as well um this is um this was my original design and then i find these um loops too huge so i cap i um give it a cap band instead and it came out like that so i'll show you how to make this as well um yeah but i will be focusing more on this one so arrows should be pointing away from you and then you can grab your border band and lay a single chain down the middle row. So just go all the way up your loom until you get to this pack over here and then I'll be right back. So next, what you'll be doing is taking your um, bands for your donut and then this is the part where um, you can choose to make this or this so for this you're going to cap band it which means um, we're going to um, place a band here and here so like uh, an inverted V so if you want to get this effect you would just place your band on the loom like this if you want to get this effect you're going to cap band it like that so you can start from the left or right but you should um, place them consistently so if you start on left for the rest you should do left so that you not be confused when you're doing the hooking process so as I said I'm going to be doing the donut chain bracelet today so I'm going to cap cap band these bands cap I'm going to be doing cap bands so when you're done with, um, placing your first colour, you can take your second colour. So I'm using fuchsia and grey today. So this time you're going to place um, a normal V. So just like this. So if you are going to be doing this one, you're just going to be placing your bands like, um, like that for your entire loom. But, or else you're going to be doing a cat band like that. So when you're done with the normal V, you're going to do another inverted V, like this. When you're done, you're going to place another cap band on the right side. So just keep repeating these steps and go all the way to the end of your loom and you stop here. So I'm going to be fast forwarding from here.
So the last step of this bracelet is to hook up the single chain. So just turn your, turn your loom around and add your last border band over here. A cat band. Or just a normal cat band will do. And then you're just going to hook this entire single chain up. So you're not going to hook the sides of this bracelet. So go push away the cat band, grab the white band and bring it up. So next, what you'll be doing is you're going to push away all of the V bands and grab the last white band and bring it up. So you're going to do the same for the rest of the loom, pushing away all your V bands, grabbing the last white band and bring it up. So I'm going to show this to you the last time before I fast forward. So pushing away all your V bands, grabbing the last white band and bring it up. So by the way, if you're doing, if you're making this bracelet and yours is sing, um, not cat band, you're gonna do the same thing, pushing away your V bands just that they're not they're not capped. Your V bands are not capped, and you add the cat band over here, um, as well. So the only difference is that one is capped and one is not. So I'm gonna fast forward from here. So at your last pack, just hook it up as well. Then you can stick your hook in and bring it to the thick side of your bracelet. Oh, and if you're doing it on two loom, you can just attach your clip and attach it to the to the cat band at the end and then that's your bracelet. But if you're doing it on one loom, since you need an extension, you can leave it on the thick side of your hook first. And then I would advise to take another hook or use your fingers to just remove these bands because they are quite tight so if you just put it pull it off the loom um, number one your bands may snap and number two you have a hard time making your bracelet look neat if you want it to look neat that is so I'm just going to fast forward I'm going to just pick all of my donuts off the loom So now you can go ahead to plug this off the loom. So um, it'll come out messy, but don't worry, we can fix it. So yeah, if yours is the other version, yours should come out the way it looks. So once your sorry, oh my god, uh, once your bracelet comes out, it will already look like this. But if yours is this one, then it will look very messy like mine. Um, but. You can, you can make it look neat very quickly. But first, I would like to do my extension because um, that way I can get these bands off my hook so that I can adjust my bands properly. So I'm just going to show you how to do an extension if you're not too sure. I will change to a black background so it will be clearer since my bands are white. Um, just place your band on your hook like this and slide these two bands onto that band like that and then connect it. So showing this to you a few more times. What you'll be doing is have these two bands on your hook. Why is it so blur? Um, yeah. And then grab your band, place it here and slide these bands onto the band and close it up. So just keep repeating these steps until you get um, to the desired length and yeah so just keep repeating this I will fast forward from here. So there you have the completed bracelet but now we have to adjust it so it look neat. Um, you can attach your C-clip first. Okay. So what you're going to do is um, stretch out this part and then if you see this part um, sorry just let my camera focus 
if this part is very loose, that means that at this side, there's very little of the band. So you can open this part up to see where's the loop, uh, where's the one that is very near the, the bottom. So grab it and pull. So this side will become smaller. And then use your hand to shape it a little bit. And it look neat. So the other side, okay, this one sort of looks neat already. This one already looks neat. So coming to this side, I just try and pull it first. And then this one's loose. So I come to this side to find the other end of that band over here. And I pull. Then I adjust there. So this one's neat too. So at this side, there's a loose one. Um, over here so I go to this side and find where it come from and then I'll adjust it like this pulling the other side so that it look neat like that then going over to the other side I'll pull. So I'll just keep repeating that to the end of your bracelet and I'll fast forward from here. So here's the completed bracelet. I hope you like it. So um, by the way, this bracelet can be worn on two sides. So you can have as many colors as you like. So I've made four so far. So if you like this tutorial, please like the video and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Bye.